Welcome back to Weird Acres. Today we're going to be moving my egg flock up to the barn because they are eight weeks old now and fully feathered out. Lay down. Down. Got them all blocked off with this little V trellis just so they can't hop the gate because they definitely can fly high enough to get out of here. What are you doing, Eggers? Hey, Bonnie. What are you doing, Bonnie? So they were eating some of their greens. They ate all of the leftover rice dish. Got a couple of them perching up there, some of them scratching in the dirt. Their food's half gone, so in about a day, they're eating three and a half pounds of food, these 18 chickens. And their water is getting a little messy, but it's not too bad right now. But these birds are getting big, they're getting flighty, and I think they're ready to move up to the barn now that they got their full adult feathers. I don't see any of the small little tufts of down feathers, so I think they're fully feathered out. It's 60 degrees today, and we're supposed to be pretty warm for the next coming days. I think Saturday it's supposed to drop down to 26, so that's gonna be our lowest in the next 10 day forecast which is pretty low, but I think all 18 birds huddled together will be fine up in the barn. I have it pretty much sealed off. We'll see it later in the video. So I'm gonna get the barn brooder ready that I set up in a previous video. And then I'm gonna have to find a container that I'll be able to throw these chicks in and take up to the barn. Gotta keep them blocked off. There's no time for an escape. Good boy. All right, here's the barn brooder that we finished in November. It should work out perfect for these eggers, the size that they are right now. Get this thing opened up, spread some pine shavings and get it ready for them in there. Okay, I got a nice thick layer of pine shavings all the way around. It's a good three, four inches deep to help keep them warm through the next coming cold nights. And now I just have to get their feeder and waterer up here and some perches and stuff to play with. This will be a good 10 to 12 square feet more than where they are now. So that'll give them a lot extra space to run around and flap. And even if they do get out of the pen here and jump over this uh, railing, they're trapped into another stall here in the barn. Kind of sealed it up in the fall, this past fall, getting ready for the animals. So everything should go fine as long as they can stay warm enough up here. All right, let's go get the chicks. I gotta find something to put them in first though. All right, I think I got it figured out and it's just starting to sprinkle out here. So I have a cardboard box here big enough for probably six chicks at a time. I'm just gonna throw about six chickens at a time into the box, throw it in the Jeep and drive it up to the barn unload them and do it again until I have all 18 chickens up into the new barn brooder. Hi right, Eggers, you ready to move? You ready to move Eggers? Once I get them all up there then I'll take up their feed and you know what I might take up their feed and their water uh, with the first load just so they're not completely empty up there. And then uh, I'll bring up their perches and their stones to play with and their dust bath last. Puppy, you're scaring them. It should be easier to catch this time now that I can walk straight in there and grab them instead of reaching over the bench that I had them in before. But we'll see. Threw some wood chips down in the bottom so they're not pooping all over the place and getting it all over themselves. Nice. 
に。I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. They do look good up here though. Big area, fresh and clean for them. Echo Pup, you are so stressed out. Puppy, you need to relax. We got two more trips. What are you doing in here, Eggers? 
Got your new spot. I'm just gonna dump them out because it seems to be the easiest way rather than grabbing them all again. Run to your friends. Run to your friends. Oh, come on. Keep going. Come on. What are you doing in there? Well, my Easter eggers don't want to go. You want to get captured? Knee down. What are you doing? All right, that's twelve. All right, we only have six chicks left, and you bet your ass one of the chicks is Blackbeak. Way in the back there, she's trying to be the last one to be caught again. We'll see how it goes down. I'm just gonna grab the easiest one available. Got the pretty one still in here too. She doesn't have a name yet, but she's definitely the pretty one. Her and Olive, but anyway, we got six left, and then I'll get all the rocks and sticks for their perching. I might, you know, I'll probably get new sticks for them now that they're getting bigger. Got them all. Whew. Move. Over. Knee. Knee. Stay down. Down. We're being bad. We're being bad, puppy.
All right, the Agers are in their new home. Seems like they're spreading out now. Checking out how much room they have. I'm gonna get them a perch and get something to prop up their feeder and their water or two, but I just needed to get them up in here and see how they do. Should be warm in the next few days, so it shouldn't uh, really get too cold for them at night. They should be able to huddle together for warmth. And then Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to drop down. Echo, Dempin. Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to drop down, and uh, we'll see if I have to do anything to help them out that night. But for now, they were finally moved up to the barn brooder, and they're living the farm life now. That's all for this one. Hit the subscribe button to follow along with all the new animals we're getting here on the homestead. We'll be getting a new animal here soon, so definitely hit the subscribe button down below so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. But hit that like button before you go. You can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. I actually picked up some five grain scratch. I'm going to give them a little treat just for being good little birds. Just give them something here to, something new to scratch at in their new enclosure here. Go ahead, Bonnie, get at it. <laughs>